Have you ever had a day in your class where it's felt like most of your students have been doing this? There's no reason to feel sad about it anymore because you can record the lesson your students slept through today on a podcast. When most people hear podcasts, they want to scream in terror. But this quick, easy tutorial will teach you the four easy steps it takes to create one. First, you have to plan and practice. You need to plan what you are going to talk about and who is going to do, be doing the talking. I suggest doing something you know really well, especially for the first few. They need to practice. This way, it's as easy as taking a walk in the park. The next step will be recording your podcast. The first thing you need to do will be to download software to record it. I would suggest Audacity. It's free and easy. The next thing you need when recording your podcast is hardware. You can use any type of microphone that will plug into your computer or tablet. The third step is converting the format of your recording to an MP3 file. If using Audacity, you have to download a program called Lame. Lame then allows you to export all of your podcast files directly to an MP3 file. The final step would be to publish your podcast. You don't need any additional hardware or software, but you do need a website to store them on. If you are a teacher like me, the best place to store them on is your school's website. Yay, we did it! Advantages. One, easy to make. Two, they don't cost a lot of money. Three, allow teachers to have an archive of all their lessons. Four, they allow for learning on the go. Five, allow students to express themselves creatively. Six, they're always available. Seven, can be used as a reviewing tool. Eight, or they can be used to help students who are poor readers. The disadvantages. Creating them can be very time consuming. Two, they aren't easily searchable. Three, not all students have access to the internet. And four, not all students have access to a device that they can listen to the podcast is on. If you would like to hear a podcast of a reading of a chapter from a book my eighth grade students are currently reading, visit the link below. Created using Powtoon.